Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be building a welding fixture table. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. This all started when I had this table saw base left over. The mechanism was interesting and worked very well. The table saw weighed about 250 pounds, so I figured as long as I kept my welding fixture table under 300 pounds, I would be good to go. I bought these two foot by two foot, three quarter inch steel plates on Marketplace. I had some old new steel that had been lying around for about five years, it was pretty rusty. I start with two inch on center lines. I center punch all the spots I will need to drill. I clamp the pieces in place to prepare for welding. A couple quick beads with the MIG welder hold everything in place. Here I'm using a 5 8 annular cutter in a drill press. The annular cutter makes easy work of this three quarter inch plate.
if you check out my other videos, you'll find my annular cutter video, which is a tutorial on how to use the inner drill press and then how to install. They cut very fast, they're very sharp, and even after 288 holes, the last hole drilled as fast as the first hole. Now I weighed the plate before I started and it weighed 120.3 pounds. And after drilling all the holes, it weighed 110.9. This here is a chamfer tool that I first seen on Finnegan's Garage. Uh, Mike had bought it on Amazon. It was about $50 or less American. I think I paid 60 Canadian for it. And it did a fantastic job. Now I first started grinding this plate and I was using an angle grinder with uh, I believe 40 grit. It took me about half an hour, 40 minutes and it gouged the plate and made a mess. I bought these diamond discs to go from 50 grit to 3000 grit. So here I'm using a 50 grit and it took about 20-25 minutes to do the whole plate and it did an absolutely fantastic job. The disc after doing this first this one plate showed almost nowhere. Here I'm drilling the holes to bolt it to the table. I'm drilling it out for 3 8 bolt. I'm using a, another 5 8 annular cutter to countersink the bolts. Here I use a transfer punch to punch my holes. I drilled these to a size O drill bit to use the Speed Taps 3 8 thread cutter. I've had these for a little over a year now and I've used them maybe a dozen times. These Speed Taps are an excellent tool and I would absolutely buy them again. For the adjustments for the table, I needed strong, fine thread hardware. I couldn't find any at a decent price locally, so I picked up these wheel spacers on Marketplace. Here I marked the holes so I can make sure that the studs end up in a spot that they won't interfere. 
The flat head of the stud was actually really nice to clamp and weld to. Here I drilled the holes that I had previously tapped on the outside of the plate. They weren't straight and they were pushing the plate sideways. Here I show how the stud works as an adjuster. I did have a dip in one of the plates that had about a 30 thousandths or one thirty seconds of an inch dip. Here's a quick demonstration of how the lifting wheel works. Here's a final product, I'm very happy with it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.